Hi there, every people. This is the real Mart of Kemet, Goddess of Justice, Truth and Balance. And today I'm going to talk about Miri Adiabo, uh, Sabina Chege, Anne Weihuru, Charles Chigiru, Lecho Shebesh, Aisha Jumwa, Catherine Warogoro, Esther Pasaris, and all those women uh, who are in this group, they are calling themselves Embrace Team Kenya. They are doing white in pink uh, attire and quite often or lately we have seen them entertaining the their politician their federal politician men 001 the this is joho and team i don't know team tagataga they are in team tagataga team kiereweke for sure women at this time at this time of the decade with all these problems that are affecting women, that is all you can do, or you can show us. There are so women out there languishing in pain and poverty and other things that they require. But we did give you a chance to represent us on the higher note. And this is what you can do, entertain your bothers men who are doing a lot of nothing they are just talking, 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 and they are doing nothing to us. And this is the same thing you are doing. Girl, child need your help. Women need your help. There are so many widows who are there. They are wishing because they don't have anybody to support them. Single mothers are there, out there, also in that, in that line. They don't know where to turn to. There are so many problems that are affecting women and yet you, all you can do is address political nonsense we can't understand or the fight of this political nonsense we can't understand and there's yes the woman at the lower level are suffering in pain the elderly women also they are suffering in that in that uh, procedure they are suffering so much and all that you can show is that nonsense. We're doning your pink and white attire. I don't know why the symbolism to that is coming from. Women at this time, Giru, they have pushed, they have cracked another card for Giru with the video which is more than a year. And now they want to bring ink it to the people so that the people can start uh, fighting the Somali brothers and our, our government is co-owned by the Somali brothers and us Kenyans and they want to believe us as it is the border that they are fighting in Kitui whereas we know that they are fighting over maritime I don't know nonsense or the oil holes that they have in the Indian Ocean and they want to separate people division. Let me tell you people you gotta understand the big four agenda. The big four agenda. F O U L agenda is division, divide, conquer and lie. Those are the four big agenda that they are using. Whenever you hear them talking about the four big agenda, it's not the agenda of of benefiting your life or making your life to to step up in a more let me say comfortable way. This is an agenda of. Dividing, conquering, rule, and lying. So don't buy those lies that they are telling you that Giru, they are starting to fight. They always try tell us that they, they or show us in the mainstream media. And I'm telling you, this mainstream media are being 
controlled by these the same people because they are the owners of these uh, mainstream media. Keep away from this mainstream media and everything you see in the mainstream media, like I said, it's 98% right. So keep away from this mainstream media as much as you can. And Giru, huh? Giru, your area is the semi-arid area and we know your people are suffering there. They don't have water. And the best thing you are getting old, the best thing you could do is plant tree. See how you can make your area more fertile. Or step in another river where the people can do farming. Plant more trees, that is what you could be doing. Dig more wells for your people. They need you. That is the most thing people of Kitui needs you on, on those sides, the semi-arid areas. And also the Somali brothers, they, they should be doing also instead of fighting over the, the, the places that they are going to graze, the, to graze the, their animals. They should not fight, be fighting for this. Right? They should be making that place or doing or coming up with a way of planting more trees in these areas, transforming this area into paradise. People are transforming deserts, so you can transform the this area also into a more meaningful place for your people. People are languishing there; they don't have clean water. They are suffering, and yet you, you are just yapping, yapping. It's the high time you stop this game and engage people. Come together, work together in order to help people. Instead of playing these games you are playing here, we can see it. We know all your deception and deceit you are doing to people. Stop playing with people's mind. Huh? And people need to wake up. Open up your eyes very wide. Because this game, it will never end, by the way. Hmm? Keep away from voting places. Whenever they come and tell you to go and vote for them. So, so are I. It's nonsense. Don't vote for it. So, what I would like to tell these women is it's time for women to be yourself. You can change. Women are the pillar of the society. You are a good example to our, to our children and to our children also. Stop doing whatever you are doing, entertaining this political nonsense and start working with the people, with the women. See what the women has to offer, their problem, and see how you can help them. Instead of following the footsteps of these men who are just trying to divide people, you can follow your own way by building each, each other, uniting with women. And also men, also in that, in that sense. Stop playing with people's mind and stop playing this game, political nonsense games you are playing. Let us come together and build our Kenya.